the car back from this old farm and uh, today we got the H but we aren't going to be cultivating with it um, I'm not sure how many of you have ever noticed in previous videos before but um, we've got this kind of manual corn chopper for making silage corn um, it's just it's just like the pull behind ones with the big kind of like a silage blower in a way for those of you who know for those of you who know what a, a silage blower is um, it's pretty much identical to that except rather than just blowing the silage up it actually chops it and then we'll blow it for you but it's got this this big long conveyor on it and what you'll do is you'll go over and cut with your uh, machete cut the corn stalks down with your corn on it and you'll set it on the conveyor and while the conve while the thing is running the conveyor will suck it in as well as these little forks here and that'll bring it up into the blade there and maybe what we'll try doing here is we'll unblock it and show you guys inside so if you open up this door if we can doesn't want to but uh anyways there's just a bunch of like blades and other sort like a I don't know I don't want to call it a knife but a just a shover and that's what shoves it up the chute and into your trailer so yeah maybe if we can get you I don't know how good we can get you in but um, right there, right there, maybe you can see my finger, that's a blower, or a, not a blower, the knife when, that chops the corn up, and then that's one of the pushers that shoves the corn up the chute. So we've got the H hooked up to it, and uh, we're going to start it up and see all the junk come blowing out of it. So uh, I'll get you guys positioned somewhere and we'll turn it on.
you can uh, see behind me here, um, we kind of got the poor man's drone going, but uh, anyways, uh, that worked pretty good. It's a, it's a pretty cool corn chopper for sure. Uh, the H did a really good job. Really, really nice job at it, which is uh, it's kind of figurable that it doesn't take a whole lot to run that. So uh, it should be pretty easy for that age. And uh, there's one thing that Dad told me, which I did not know. Um, there's down somewhere like there at the tip of my finger. Instead of that being a, a PTO shaft like it is, it's actually supposed to be a belt pulley there. So it's uh, it's really supposed to be belt powered. But Dad kind of homemade a, a PTO shaft for it, so. It, it makes it a lot easier for us and uh, the only machine we have with a belt pulley is the uh, H here and we don't even have a belt for it and the belt pulley isn't very good for the H so uh, but it works good the way it is it does its job and we actually got quite a bit out of the trailer there I don't know how you guys can kind of see it it's almost half full maybe not even maybe a quarter of the way there so it did we got a, quite a bit out of it, but not. it wasn't too bad. But now I gotta go down. I'm gonna unhook the H from it. And uh, then the H can go get parked again. So, uh, uh, thanks for uh, getting to see the H use its PTO for the first time, just like me. That's the first time I've ever seen the uh, PTO, the H run something PTO powered. So, uh, Thanks for getting to see it for the first time with me, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll check you guys all later.